Good morning guys, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, my name is Amy and I have been on a weight loss journey and I've lost 60 pounds over the last couple of years following the starch solution and using the principles of calorie density. I wanna show you what I'm eating every single day as a busy mum of two, how I make this lifestyle work for me and what yummy things I decide to create in the kitchen because I love this way of eating so much. I feel like you can be so creative within the whole food plant-based world. You can literally create anything. So I wanna show you what I am eating this morning. I've got food ready right now. I am very hungry. It's like half 11, Romy's been asleep on me for ages and um, we've been busy making some fun stuff that I wanna share with you guys. So, first and foremost, before I stuff my face, I wanted to show you my breakfast. So, here we have my massive bowl of veggies as I start my day with veggies and beans every single morning. I've got a full broccoli, um, a courgette, two carrots and a whole bag of kale. And a very noisy Romy. Um, and then I've got my, oh wow. And then I've got my oil-free hummus on the top as well. So Romy's gonna have a few little nibbles of this as well. Obviously, I'm gonna eat most of it. Um, and then we're making something really exciting today. It's Valentine's Day and I thought for fun, we could make a little cookie. Not a little cookie, actually gigantic cookies. So this is our cookie mix. It's super simple, three ingredients. Do you want some cookie mix here? So per cookie, we've got one ripe banana, half a cup of oats, and a tablespoon of PB2 pounder just like turned into peanut butter. And I tell you, it tastes incredible. Mm. So we're gonna whip up these cookies uh, right now. And that's gonna be breakfast part two. So I'll show you when they're ready. You can obviously customize it. I might put a little bit of like chunks of apple in this one. I've got one in the oven already. So, but first I'm gonna dive into my veggies because I am super hungry, so let's do this. Okay, so I've already got a plain cookie in the oven um, and we're going to do some different stuff with these cookies. These are like gigantic breakfast cookies. These are just amazing for... Are you excited, Romy? These would be amazing for... You could um, make loads of these for breakfast at the beginning of the week and then have these throughout the week. Um, but they're just, um, they're just also a really fun like little special treat. Like if you're going out somewhere and you wanted to take something special, then you could, um, you could definitely take one of these. Oh, now, Romy, we're gonna spread this out. And Romy, you're gonna put the chocolate chips on for me, all right, babes? Can you do the chocolate chips? You can spread some, there you go. Mm -hmm. mm, good job, Rose. We've got the merging of the cookies. Mm. <laughs> You're a naughty chops. Uh, for the first little cookie for Abe, I told him I was going to make him a special treat. So we're going to just put some little sneaky chocolate chips on. He can have the big one. So he's going to put a little few chalky chips on the top for Abe. And then for me and, for me and Roms, we're just going to have little apple chunks. Here you go, here's some hummus. There you go. So I have a feeling these are gonna cook quite nicely in the oven. So I'm just not gonna go crazy. I'm just gonna do like an eighth of an apple maybe. Um, I'm just gonna chop in super tiny little chunks. Um, that way hopefully it cooks properly. And I'm just gonna have it like sprinkled apple chunks on the top. I'm doing them like really super tiny squares. Do you, what do you think, Roms? Is that a good idea? Okay, so I've got little tiny squares here. I'm just doing like little apple, apple niblets on the top here. And they may just get a little bit crumbly on the top, but that's all right. I'm gonna kind of push them in with a spoon and see how they go. Just gonna kind of squish these in here. Oh, and definitely, definitely gonna add a bit of cinnamon onto this apple one. Just a tiny little sprinkle of goodness. As you guys know I love my cinnamon. Okay, into the oven they go. Okay, I wanted to show you our gigantic cookie. Romy's got it right now. It is huge. Can Romy have a taste? Mmm. Mmm. That is really delicious. Super simple. Fast breakfast on the go. And Romy seems to be thoroughly enjoying it. I think she's storing it in there like a little hamster. <laughs> Do you love it? <laughs> anyway, um, I'll show you my other two real quick. 
We've got the chocolate chippy one and then we've got the appley one. So I'm going to have the appley one with Roms and that one for my breakfast. And Abel have the chocolate chip one as a special treat when he gets back from school. Okay, so I'm going to sit with Roms, um, but I wanted to quickly chat about these cookies real quick. So if you are struggling to lose weight, if you're following the start solution and you are eating a fair bit of cookies or things like this that are healthy um, and you're struggling to see weight loss, it may be because of things like this. So not that you can't have this on occasion, of course you can. And obviously if weight loss, if weight loss is not your priority, then by all means go for it. But if your priority is weight loss and you're eating a lot of these OT cookies, uh, they are not as low calorie density as you might think. So oats are obviously super low calorie density, but that is when you turn them into porridge, not when you have them in their dry form, especially not when you have them in their dry form and then you put them in the oven, you are sucking the moisture out of something. Um, so the reason why foods tend to be low calorie density is because they've got loads of water inside of them, which gives them a lot of bulk for very little calorie. So obviously when you eat something like this, that's not had the water, injected into it has water taken out of it it's going to have the opposite effect so obviously two cookies right so that's that's one cookie that is half a cup of oats so if you turn that into a porridge instead you can just imagine the difference in terms of volume so you do have to be cautious when you're eating stuff like this like i said it's fine to have every once in a while but don't go overboard if weight loss is your priority because it's not super low calorie density you know i've nearly finished a good chunk of this cookie and i feel like it's barely even scratched the surface in terms of hunger so what i'm going to do now is i'm going to quickly whip up a batch of porridge and i'm going to have a big bowl of oats instead well as well okay fine Romy's eaten some of this as well um but i'm gonna have a big batch of oats as in as well um just to offset that to give me something super low calorie density so so when you're eating stuff like this just keep it in the back of your mind that it's not as low calorie density as a big bowl of porridge anyway hopefully that is helpful um because it's something i, I didn't if that's not something that i knew about at the very beginning of my journey and i did spend a lot of my time eating oat cookies thinking they were really low calorie density because oats are low calorie density not the case it depends what you do to the actual oat are you adding moisture are you taking moisture away all of that kind of stuff anyway so having said that they are very delicious cookies and every once in a while you've got to treat yourself haven't you so go and have a cookie um but not every single day anyhow hope that's helpful okay so i've just made my oats and this is what i've got and i thought it'd be a perfect opportunity to show you the difference in terms of calorie density it's just wild okay so this is one cup of oats two cups of water and a banana so the oats is about 300 calories the banana is about 100 calories so that is 400 calories for that massive gigantic bowl so when people see me eat a lot of food they think oh my god you're consuming so many calories actually no i'm keeping super the calorie density super low that's how i'm able to eat so much food so alternatively i could have these two cookies so can you see in terms of the vo visual volume that you of food that you can get so this is one cup of oats and one banana, obviously, plus a few little chocolate chips. But this is also one cup of oats and a banana. So can you see visually how much you're actually getting? Which one's going to keep your tummy fuller and activate your stretch receptors? And that's going to tell your body, I've had enough food. So when you eat things that are high in, higher in calorie density like this, you can just munch on them all day long. And that's how you're able to get in loads of calories. I'm using this as an example, obviously. But when you eat super low calorie density like this, you can basically eat as much as you want while following your hunger fullness cues and be fully satisfied all the time. Anyway, I just wanted to give you that representation because I thought it was fantastic. Anyway, I'm gonna go and munch on this and I'm gonna save those for my babies. Okay, so I don't know if it's helpful for you guys to hear the same thing over and over again. Let me know if you've heard it once. Thing is, there's a lot of new people that jump onto this on a regular basis. So I just wanna make sure that they um, have the same knowledge. So I'm sorry if I repeat stuff and it's a little bit boring to you. Just let me know if you'd like me to um, not do it. Anyway, <clears throat> my point is, so I was busy eating my oatmeal, my uh, porridge, sorry, I'm turning American. Um, and because there's no sweetener on there, I was able to listen to my hunger fullness cues. And I realized towards the end of my bowl that I was not super, super, super hungry anymore because it stopped tasting quite as good. So as a powerful um, message to myself, I have decided not to eat the entire thing. You all right there, babes? <laughs> And I'm trying to get okay with leaving a little bit on my plate. Otherwise, I have previously had the tendency to finish everything on my plate, regardless of whether I was full, stuffed, not hungry, like whatever it, whatever it happened to be. Um, I would just eat absolutely everything. So I'm leaving a little bit on my plate. 
as a powerful signal to say that's okay it's quite good to leave something on your plate if you're not actually hungry so anyway maybe you could get into the habit of it as well if you feel like you finish every single plate no matter what leave a little bit it's very powerful anyway just thought i'd say okay so romy just had a nice little sleep again and we're about to head off to go and pick abe up i just want to show you what i've thrown together in about two minutes it's a very very quick and easy sushi bowl Leftover sticky rice, frozen edamame, cucumber, carrots. And then for my dressing, I've just used soy sauce, sushi vinegar, and a little bit of sesame seeds. I'm going to take this with me on the go, and I'm going to cook cookies for the kids that I made earlier. Anyway, weight loss does not have to be complicated. Quick and simple meals are definitely easily done. Anyway, I'm going to grab this. I'm going to go, and I'll chat to you when I do some eating. Okay, guys, so we are back at home now. I ate my lunch while we were out at the park, and there was just too much going on, so I couldn't really show you, although you did see my lunch earlier. Um, anyway, I want to show you what we've got going on while we're at home. It's quite late, quarter to six, but on, on Tuesday, it is just late. So in here, I've got a head of cauliflower cooking up, and I've got some pasta for everybody else. You guys know I'm not on the pasta train at the moment, although it is a fantastic weight loss food. That's just not what I'm going to uh, go for. I don't find it super satisfying for the volume that I get. Instead, I have spotted... So basically, it's use the up day because um, we've got Rivford coming tomorrow. So I've got some potatoes that need using up, so I'm just going to grate these up and turn them into little hash browns and dunk them into the cheesy sauce. I think that would be delicious. And then we are really running out of veggies. So this fridge is getting really, really naked and there's basically no veggies in there. I really was going to, I was going to run to the shops to buy some purple cabbage because that is what I had my heart set on. But James said we've got veggies to use up, so I'm going to use up these veggies. So I'm not quite sure what I'm going to do. I've got some, I've got some chard and I've got some loads of frozen spinach, which we've had for ages. And um, I didn't really know what to do with it. But then I thought my brother has a really good thing that he does with frozen spinach. I don't remember what it is. So I'm going to give him a quick ring, find out what it is. But I remember it's like a sushi vibe and that sounds delicious. So I'll take you along for the ride if I figure out, if he answers the phone and I can figure out what he did. Um, anyway, so it's going to be a really weird mishmash of things for me tonight. Um, I'm thinking if I do the spinach thing, I might put it in some quinoa wraps with the cheese sauce on top. Sounds super crazy and strange, but pff, sometimes you've got to do it. Anyway, I'll let you know what ends up happening. <laughs> Okay, I've put my food together. It's slightly different from what I said, but I'm going to show you. Okay, so I was going to do the hash browns, and then I thought, firstly, that's not enough potato. Secondly, I want to lower the calorie density, and also I find mash actually just a lot more delicious at the moment. So I opted for a gigantic pile of mash, and then I really wanted to get more veggies on there because like I said we we're running super low. So I got loads of tomatoes. I think there's like four little tomatoes. Chopped those up, lemon juice and garlic salt. Then I've done the spinach salad, which is so delicious. It's literally um, defrost it, squeeze all the moisture out. Then add soy sauce, a tiny bit of maple syrup and sesame seeds. It is so yummy. And I don't know if you can tell because it looks like mash. I've just put all the cheese sauce on top of the mash and the cheese sauce is basically cauliflower. So I've got my 50-50 plate kind of with loads of mash. Romy wants to come out. Okay, guys. Anyway, I've got squeaky babies. I'm going to go and shove this in my face. It's a fantastic meal for weight loss, really low calorie density, super tasty and random. Okay, I just had a really, really good workout. I am loving the rebounding at the moment. I went in there, didn't know how long I was going to do. I did like 40 minutes of just intense Amy bouncing. I've realised I am looking for somebody online who does mega bouncy rebounding, like super funky music. And um, I can't there's a few people that I really love um, online, but I want someone like really, really bouncy and I just haven't found anyone. So if you guys know anyone like that, let me know. Otherwise, I'm going to have to start creating my own like super bouncy workouts because that's the kind of stuff I need. I need like mega music. Um, <clears throat> anyway, it was super fun. It was super good. So um, that was fab. Oh, I was thinking about one thing. I have noticed that I haven't really been late night snacking or even thinking about it recently. Um, and... One of the things that I think is helpful is not loitering in the kitchen. It sounds like a very obvious thought, but sometimes the obvious things are also the things worth, worth a saying. Uh, it's almost too obvious. So if you find yourself in the kitchen at night, like wandering around, maybe don't go in the kitchen. If that's a thing you're struggling with, close the door. Put a sign on the door saying, 
don't go in past seven o'clock or something gets people to remind you not to go in the kitchen. Sounds so silly, but I know if I walk into the kitchen, I'm going to be seeing the food lying around. I pick at this. There's a bit of cookie over here. There's a bit of that. And then I might start nibbling on stuff when otherwise, if I'd stayed in that room, I wouldn't have been thinking about anything. I mean, I'm not in the kitchen nibbling or anything like that. I just thought it was something worth mentioning because it was something I was thinking about while I was dancing. Uh, but anyway, I am going to go and have a cup of tea because um, I'm going to love me a bedtime tea before night time. And I finish all my work for this evening. So I'm going to go and snuggle and watch something on the couch with James and Romy. So that should be nice and fun. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video today. I know it's been rather chatty and rambly. Apologies for that. Um, and I will see you guys tomorrow for a really fun grocery haul day where we get loads of fresh stuff. I'm excited to have so many veggies because we were down to the dregs this week in terms of veggies. Um, yeah, so I'll see you tomorrow.